was lucky enough that some of my files survived my computer getting wiped and I found the original idea that I had for Highly back in 2019. It's got like the most simple guitar and bell that came with like Ableton Light. I didn't have vocals for it because I didn't know what to do with that. Um, I don't know. figured out like the guitar or synth yet but I still liked the original melody I just knew that bells were too cringe and that's how we ended up with this here <laughs> just played for several minutes and then listened back afterwards and cut it up into my favorite parts and reassembled it. Parts of it were out of tune, so some of them are turned down a couple of cents, some are up. I think that has to do with my finger placement sometimes. I like this moment when it becomes clean from the distortion. I was originally trying to play power chords, but I didn't know how and I I don't really use the internet when I'm in music making mode. I just kind of forget that's a thing and I just like figuring it out myself and luckily it turned into this instead. This guitar track has already distortion from the beginning from this digital pedal board I was using and then I just made it a lot sharper so I could make room for the bass that I wanted in there I wonder what this sounds like string is tuned down. I don't know how much. Maybe to a D? Yeah, to a D. The vocals were really tricky to mix due to a lot of breathiness and just the range that they're in. Um, but I used a lot of de to make space for like the chorus and delay that I was using and I have a little bit of reverb on there too. But yeah, it required a lot of EQing. It was so satisfying when I could finally hear the words. This part here was really fun to put together. I wanted it to sound scratchy without being too predictable, so I ended up using one of these, like DJ effect things. And it, I think it worked nicely. And my friend Ted had the best idea to double the kicks towards the end which I really think it needed. The song was originally very flat, very structured in an easy way, so.
To those who have asked, I use Ableton and my synths usually just have a lot of glide, delay, I filter them, I add filters and change the cutoff, detune them, add octaves, morph them. I usually start with some preset and then I change like everything about it. I go from a saw to a sign. You never know. Um, my favorite part of my singing, or one of my favorite parts, is this here. Um, it's, an, it's just... It's definitely a reference to Tori Amos and her song, Crucify. <laughs> 